In 2003, NASA launched the Spitzer Infrared Observatory to view the universe in infrared light. Infrared is heat energy. And just how we may not see the flame of a candle in a brightly lit room, we can still see that flame interacting with the gases in its environment. This interaction can be readily apparent. It can be viewed. And this is how Spitzer sees the universe. Visible light on the left, heat interactions on the right. This got me to thinking. Can we view this ourselves in our environment? Then one day it hit me. Film. Good old film. It's meant to record visible light. Infrared light should pass right through it. We could use it as a filter. Put it on a camera, any camera. Take our own pictures. What would that take? A pair of scissors, some cardboard scraps, electrical tape, toilet paper tube, of course some strips of film, some repositionable adhesive putty. Kyle's here today to help us out. First take the film and mark where you're going to cut. Next, draw a box that you'll remove with the scissors. Carefully cut the square out. Removing the square will reveal where the light will pass through. We will cover this next with film. Attach the film with electrical tape. Be sure to seal out as much light as possible. We only want light to pass through to the camera through the film. Just to be sure, we're going to double up the amount of film we're using. Once it's all taped up, it's time for adhesive putty. We're going to need to seal out the light where the toilet paper tube meets the filter. Draw the putty out like a string and apply it to the outside edge of the toilet paper tube. You'll want to use enough to get a good seal. Make sure you know where that square is. Okay, now, now put it in the right spot. But does it actually work? Here's an LED flashlight passing visible light. It doesn't appear to be coming through the filter. So far, so good. It doesn't appear to be any at all. Tiny amount. Next, we use an infrared television remote. Well, it appears to be working. We'll have to test it. A real test with a real camera. This is a Nikon compact camera, but any webcam or video camera should work. Kyle's managed to attach the filter to the housing of the camera using a little bit of adhesive putty and by trimming down the toilet paper tube. Maybe you should take a shot of the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now for the moment of truth. 